Is what? I said Malcolm alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries. And can you expound on that? Yeah, well, I guess they were because they were there. I seen them. I seen them myself. It's all true. It's all true. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Good evening, messenger. that you are the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? Barbershop conversation, man. I need y'all to look, look at this, man. This is Detroit. Let's see if I can expand this. This is Detroit. And don't forget to go to Silent Hero Films and get the films. But I want y'all to see. Let me mute this. I want y'all to see. I want y'all to, to look at Detroit. Run down and destroyed by black people. But wait, there's more. This is the blackest city in America in terms of the voter electric, in terms of percentage wise, not population wise. Here's a great opportunity for black people to come in Detroit and buy it up. Don't complain when the white man comes in and gentrifies the neighborhood and then you, you have to move out of your city because the government has programs. Fred, how do you know? I have, I have property in Detroit. I know. I did my part as an outsider. Here's your here's your part. Here's your time. You will take your city back. Take your neighborhoods back. The Nation of Islam, didn't they originate in Detroit? Isn't the first one, the first or second mosque is in Detroit? The what's it called? The FBA. You know what a million dollars would do? Ados. Here it is. Here it is. Got an opportunity of a lifetime. You can get the, you, you literally can get the properties pennies on a dollar and redevelop it and get uh, tax shelters to protect you while you're developing it. Look, you can get a whole city block for under $100,000. Look. And let me give a shout out to the young man or person that's that recorded this. It is Charlie something. Damn. Just Google Detroit staggering abandoned house footage. It's sad, man. This is debilitating. Look at this shit. And we sit back and we just allow the people to come in and redevelop and then we complain. You didn't protect grandma's house. You didn't protect your neighborhood. Uh, prostitution, gangs, pimps, hustlers, street dudes, baby daddy syndrome destroyed an entire city. Is destroying an entire city. Look at this. This is fourth world living in the first world country. Group economics is the key. Stop blaming other people because a night out in LA, if you buy a table out in LA, can get you two or three homes. Yeah, for sure. And and they have a buy one, get one free sale um, where you get the next lot to you or something like that. I, I shouldn't say buy one, get one free, but they need developers to come in and develop the city. I don't want to hear it. You got the Puff Daddies, you got the Jay Z's, you got their, and it, guess what? Stop looking to them. Look within. If I truly believed in being an absentee owner, I would do it. 
But I, I, I truly don't believe in, especially when my plan is working exceptionally well here in California. But I do have property in Detroit. But this right here? <laughs> Are we going to blame the white man? Are we going to really blame the white man? Let me rewind this one more. We're going to say the, the white man brought guns in the community. The white man put brought drugs in the community. The white man also brought jobs. If you're going to give them credit for bringing the guns, then you have to give them credit for creating the jobs and the post office and the schools. And <laughs> I'm just saying the automotive, the Ford company. It's not one without the other. You want to be a. Uh, you want to create a sovereign city? Here you go. And people say it's as easy. Yeah, it's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. It really is. You go in there with a development team, have a meeting with the city manager before you purchase it, come up with a redevelopment plan and see how much uh, the government, the, the local and the federal and the statewide they can offer. Because this is this was America before America got industrialized. This is what it looked like. I mean, outside of the homes, but yeah, first come, first serve. If you have the assets, you can have it. You can own it. I don't know why people are stay hungry and starving and, and paycheck to paycheck in big cities like Los Angeles, Miami, New York. When you can go to Detroit with that money, especially if you're a truck driver, a flight attendant, uh, something where you can live in the city and make LA money, uh, stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know some other jobs, but truck drivers and flight attendants come off the pack. There you go. Look at this shit. <sighs> Pitiful. Hmm. If something like this is still available when, when Kennedy's gone and made her way into adulthood and, and I got time to travel, I don't have time to travel and because I would have to be there because you only can develop there from, I would say, late March to early September. You know what I mean? So you got to get a lot done in a very little time because the winter's coming. And uh, uh, I mean, you can develop during the winter time. But I'm talking about uh, optimal, optimal time, optimal weather. And uh, <clears throat> if I had the time, I'll go down there. So you might see me in Mississippi. You might see me in rural Georgia. Umar Johnson. What's the other guy's name? Jay Morrison. Who else done took money from y'all? FBA. What 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 grandeur plans? I don't only you can ask if they deliver. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, this is sight for sore eyes, man. This is heart wrenching, man. Because we destroyed the community. And guess what? People with jobs still got a chance to go in and get it. We ain't got to look to no celebrity, no government. No. Five people going there with $500,000. Watch what, a, watch what it'll do. Going there with a four people going there with $100,000. Watch what it'll do. Y'all want to clean up. Y'all want sovereign nations, right? Y'all want to be the nation of Islam, be independent. Well, tell the nation of Islam, go buy, go buy up Detroit. Here you go. You got you got enough room to put a church there, a mosque, redevelop some homes, put some farmland there. Oh, you got you can do a whole lot. You can change the, the ter terrain of the land, change the codes, and mm. 
They do it in Utah. The white people do it in Utah. They build their communes and they live within. And one man got 15 wives. And well, here's a perfect spot. The point, the overall point I want to make is the power is in our hands, y'all. I'm not with the victimhood. I'm not with the uh, uh, father time and, oh, God, I'm, I got trauma from slavery. And Man, come on, cut it out. You got trauma from being a sloth, laziness, being a victim. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Hopefully this inspires someone to go to Detroit or Mississippi or rural Georgia. There's plenty of Americas for sale. Don't listen to the the, the, the people telling you, oh, uh, don't listen to them, the hoteps and the pro-blacks telling you the government this, the government that, while they're, while they're too living in America. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, day, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Hopefully, this inspires somebody, man. You have, I don't care what states you live in, there is uncharted land. Uncharted land means you could be the governor, the mayor of your land that you buy. There's tons of uncharted land in your state. Group economics, build it, and in 10 years, five, no, shit, 10 years, hell no. Nah. Nah, the way we're building homes now with the technology, in two years, you can have a community. Trust me. It's not like in 1965. No. No. A group of 10 people can build a house in a week. Less than a week. Trust me. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.